Um, way to go. Very exciting stuff. So, one more presentation. Lots of pressure on you, Henrik. <laughs> Please, everybody, give a big round of applause for our last presenter, Henrik from Thank you. Uh, so this picture is not from 1978, as it looks. It, uh, it's actually from two years ago. Uh, after that, we have raised 50 million US dollars uh, and uh, expanded the team to around 50 people. But if you look at the guy to the left uh, says, I invented tokens. That's our CTO, Alex. In 2012, he made the first protocol to issue tokens. We didn't use the word blockchain at the time, uh, but he formed an open source product that inspired Ethereum, R3, IBM. So we basically started the blockchain industry. Not everyone does that. So we have <laughs> maybe a right to complain a little bit. This industry is not delivering. We don't see the mainstream adoption. We don't use it in our daily work lives. This is a fantastic technology that can save the environment, provide transparent public sector. We can use it for social networks where users have a say over their data. It's a fantastic technology, but it hasn't delivered. Partly because the user experience is bad and the performance has been bad, but also because it's really hard to do these applications. So if you have any bosses in the room, if you will go down to your IT department and say, I want to build a new application, and you should use Java and a ledger, they will just look at you. So a ledger? What even is that? Why can't we use a database? Because that's what people use, a database. So that's our new architecture that we are doing. We're combining all the security benefits of a blockchain with a relational database. And the relation database is something that has an 80% market share. It's been used for over 30 years, based on mathematics from the 70s. Uh, I could go on and argue about the technical merits, etc. You say that it, it built Facebook, it built SAP. It's ubiquitous. And we have bankers in the audience, they don't understand the technical benefits of this. Maybe if I can explain it in another way. So it's the technology that made Larry Ellison buy this cruise ship, as well as a private island. So it's a highly valuable technology that serves a purpose. Okay, so what are we doing? We have an ecosystem around this. It's a new architecture. So we have two products, two product lines, you can see. To the, to the left from you is our public blockchain, Chromia. It's intended more for crazy new applications, social networks, games, etc. We are building a game ourselves with a US studio. We are acquiring a game studio. We are investing in uh, sort of a, a streaming applications. And to the right is our enterprise offering. We work with LSV Bank in Estonia from 2015. We work with several banks, uh, also a lot in land registration and public sector. We're now doing projects with Daimler, US Air Force, the Inter-American Development Bank, a lot of enterprise stuff. So uh, that's a little bit about what we do. And uh, yeah, so swing by our office for a relaxed atmosphere sometime. It's a Sunday central session. Thank you. Wow, 15 companies, I think, uh, 